Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen wa salatu wa salamu ala ashraf al mursaleen Sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'een This is a mic check for me today after the experience of the khutbah Alhamdulillah Brothers and sisters it's a, an honor to host the Muslim community here in Washington DC for the 44th straight year, alhamdulillah. The last 44 years and the 50 years of ICNA has been nothing but blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I truly, from the bottom of my heart, I want to thank the Muslim community for their trust, for their vision, for their support. I begin this convention, alhamdulillah, I was sitting there listening to Sheikh Isa and saying to myself, subhanallah, the words of wisdom, I hope and pray, my brothers and sisters, a very humble desire in my heart for every one of us to be able to understand the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala verbatim directly, the impact that it creates in our hearts, the tranquility that it really descends onto our environment. Wallahi, these words give us the hope, the assurance, the peace that we are really in search of, only if we can understand and act upon them. My brothers and sisters, <clears throat> Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed us with this platform. And I ask him, Azza wa Jal, to allow us to use the power and the reach of this platform in the way it's intended to be. Kuntum khayra ummatin ukhrijat lil nas, ta'muruna bil ma'roofi wa tanhawna anil munkar. Healing humanity, sharing with our countrymen lessons from Islam. The theme that we have selected for this year's convention, my brothers and sisters, really calls out at the dire need that we have in these times for the message of Islam and the solutions that we need because the divide that we have seen in our communities, in our nation, around the world, the rhetoric of hate and bigotry and Islamophobia, the killing at places of worship. I can go on and on and on. What are these signs, my brothers and sisters? What is this indication of? There is a void. The materialistic life around us has taken over and people are in search of this peace that we are looking for. The peace that many of us experiences, all of us experienced when we, read, when we heard the ayat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us the ability to get this message to these people. Implement it in our lives and be the role models. The role model father, husband, neighbor, colleague, teacher. This is the way in which our character as a Muslim will shine and will attract people to what, why are these people like this? This is what we need, my brothers and sisters. This is what we need. I welcome you all, and I make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to allow you to really take advantage of these two and a half days. Use this convention as a springboard. Learn, ask, reach out, in, you know, interact with people around you. My brothers and sisters, this is our first year in Washington, D.C. And inshallah, I want you to mark your calendars for April 10th, 2020. The Easter weekend again in the same place, inshallah ta'ala. But my brothers and sisters, the big question remains is, why are we here? What is our goal from this convention? 
Sunday afternoon when we are about to depart, the question you have to ask yourself, what have I gained and what am I going to do with it? So, on some lighter notes, inshallah, I invite you to take full advantage of this convention is to download the mobile app of this convention from the Apple Store or the Google Store and find out for yourself. Make sure that you are aware of what's happening around you because it's a big convention center. I'm sure you brought in your shoes, the walking shoes, because you'll be walking a lot this, this time. So download the app, track your speakers, the speakers that you want to listen to, the sessions you want to listen to, search for different information. There's a social aspect to this, uh, this app this year. You can communicate with people around you in a very effective way, inshallah ta'ala. Those of you who are youth here, ICNA believes that it's all about the family. Every member of the family should be engaged. And alhamdulillah, in this convention, you will find sessions and activities that are for all family members. A parallel youth conference is happening here in the same place. So take advantage of that. If your children are of the ages, of the right ages, send them to those sessions because th these are conferences and sessions that are organized by the youth for the youth. Similar to many years, pre previous years, we are adding more and more non-speaking sessions. This year, alhamdulillah, similar to previous years, we have added many new ideas Hackathon for software engineers. Go and show your talent. Lots of sessions that, will in, that are just not listening, but you're participating in those sessions. Quran competitions, debate competitions. There are a number of things that are going on. So I invite you to really download the app and make sure you're aware. In conclusion, my brothers and sisters, you'll be here for two and a half days. Show the world and show each other what it means to be a Muslim. Through your character, through your caring, of how you speak, how you respond. Be that role model that we talk about. Can we show it for two days, three days? With your children, with your spouses. Make sure that you are the example if someone else, and there are a lot of non-Muslims coming into our conventions, show them what Muslims are, who Muslims are. And inshallah ta'ala, I invite all of you to join ICNA. There's a membership booth outside. Stop by the ICNA membership booth. Be part of this work. Be part of this movement. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless you all. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to allow you to take advantage of these beautiful two, three days. We ask him subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect you and keep you sound and safe. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.